Hello. We present here our work on acoustical resonance in humans through determination of individual natural frequency. These are the sections that we are going to cover. So, in the auditory channel, humans are highly attuned to emotional signals in speech and music that arise from shifts in the frequency spectrum and intensity of sound. In this study, responses of human beings from various age groups were observed by exposing them to sinusoidal tones of frequency within human hearing range. Similar to a mechanical resonance system, a human body also has an internal cavity which, when exposed to an external frequency equal to its natural frequency, vibrates with maximum amplitude. An attempt was therefore made to estimate the resonant frequency of an individual. This work may also have several applications. In technical sense, resonance is a relationship that exists between two bodies vibrating at the same frequency or a multiple thereof. In other words, the vibrations emanating from one body can cause the other body to start vibrating in tune with it. A resonator may also be defined as a second vibrator which is set into motion by the main vibrator and which adds its own characteristics to the generated sound waves. There are two kinds of resonance that may occur in a human body. They are sympathetic or free resonance, conductive or forced resonance. In this work, 30 subjects, 15 males and 15 females from various age groups from 15 years to 55 years were exposed to sound notes of frequencies in the human audible range. A particular frequency at which an individual experiences maximum vibrations was noted. This frequency was then related to the resonant frequency of the human body's inner cavity. This is an illustration of the graphical representation of sound note. The characteristics were the subjects were exposed to sinusoidal tones of frequency in the range starting from a frequency of 100 Hz. The sampling rate used was 44.1 kHz lasting for 30 seconds. The subjects were asked to enchant the sound of Ohm. The acoustical significance of Ohm lies in the fact that it results in stabilization of the brain, removal of unnecessary thoughts and increase in energy. Since subjects were asked to enchant the sound of ohm, the vibrations felt from within must be forced vibrations. The waves originated by the air flow modulated by the vibrating vocal folds travel along the bones, along the cartilages, muscles of neck, head, the upper chest causing them to vibrate by forced resonance. The same forced vibrations may serve as the sensation guides for the person regardless of the effect on external sound. These sensations may provide evidence to the enchanter that their vocal folds are forming strong primary vibrations which are being carried through the chest and the head. Thus, these vibratory sensations can supply sensory feedback about the efficiency of the whole phonetary process to the person. The inner cavity may therefore vibrate as a whole or in parts. The vibrations may take place in several ways all at once. The objective here is to find a frequency at which maximum vibrations is felt by the enchanter. These are several factors which affect the vibrations in a human body, which may be the age, height, weight, physical, emotional condition, the season or the time of the day, the temperature of the day, the physical structure of the body cavity such as its shape, uh, the body composition and an attempt was made to keep the ambient conditions as close as possible. Uh, for this purpose, all the readings were taken during the daytime between 12 pm to 4 pm and the subjects selected were not suffering from any physical ailments. There are seven possible vocal resonators in a human body, the chest, the tra tracheal tree, the larynx, pharynx, oral cavity, the nasal cavity and the sinuses. Uh, the distance between the glottis and the lips, which is the human vocal tract, is around uh, 175 mm. The cross-sectional area is uh, about 0 to 20 cm square under 
the control for vocalization uh, and the total volume of the nasal tract is around 60 cm cube which is coupled to the vocal tract. Now a simplified version of the cavity in the form of a hollow tube closed at one end that is the glottis end uh, was considered and the open end was the lip end. The diameter of such a tube may be considered small compared to the wavelength of sound. Hence, sound through this tube will only propagate down the length of the tube and we may ignore any spherical propagation. So, uh, these are the resonant frequency measurements in females wherein we have considered the height, weight, the, uh, you know, the body, to, body mass index and compare, try to give some correlation uh, with the resonant frequency that was observed. This is the graph which is showing the resonant frequency along the x-axis and the body mass index, uh, the res I'm sorry, the resonant frequency is uh, the green uh, bar graph and the body mass index is the yellow one. And as we can see, in female subjects, the trend for the resonant frequency is to decrease with age where the numbers on the x-axis refers to the age group of the person starting from 15 years to 55 years. And while for females, the body mass index uh, tends to grow with age. These are the similar readings in case of males. And over here we see that the trend line for the resonant frequency which is the pink colored bars they tend to increase with age and the body mass index also tend to increase with age so these are the mathematical formulations the relation between wavelength of sound and its frequency is given by lambda equal to c upon f and approximating the cavity to be a tube which is closed at one end uh, it is a one quarter wavelength res resonator the frequency can be given by f equal to c upon lambda where lambda is four times of l that is the length of the tube closed at one end uh, so we get around uh, you know approximating all the values that we had given earlier we get the values to be 478.57 hertz now the results uh, it is observed that the resonant frequencies are different from the above calculated values because the frequency may be a harmonic to the resonant frequency actually observed through measurements. It is also noted that the frequencies obtained may be either the fundamental frequency or the harmonic of the fundamental. Now due to limitations of the frequency response of speakers used, frequencies lower than 100 Hz could not be checked. In case of consideration of tube closed at one end model, the harmonics are basically all odd multiples of the fundamental. Now from the figure 3, it is observed that wherein we showed the trend lines, the resonant frequency, uh, the trend for resonant frequency is to decrease with age from 15 to 55 years while the body mass index tends to increase in females. The numbers indicated on the x-axis correspond to the age groups of the subjects. Okay. Similarly, uh, it is also believed that in females in particular, the tonal frequency are higher in, than in case of males. However, such conclusion could not be drawn from the observations. The tables also show that height and weight of a person do not have a direct correlation to the resonant frequency of the individual. And therefore, more complex study is needed to develop any correlation between these parameters. These are the references. Thank you.